So step one for using Open Road Logistics is obviously to go to openroadlogistics.com and then go ahead and go to their downloads and download the appropriate download file which would be compatible for your computer. After you begin that download, go ahead and make your way to tutorials. Scroll all the way down to advanced configuration and then building road network graphs. And then here you'll see a link which will say download server. Go ahead and open that in a new tab. And uh, this whole page will tell you how to install what you're about to download on your computer. So over here is going to be the .osm.pbf file that Open Door Logistics uh, is going to use to map whatever you need to map in your region. So we're going to go ahead and make our way to Texas. North America, go and scroll down to Texas, and then download this file right here. So after you've installed the .osm file from this website right here, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads and move that file that you just downloaded to a location probably in your C drive. So a good place would be just right over here. Just create a new folder and you can title it anything you want. Just make sure it's one word or it doesn't contain any spaces. So let's just say uh, ODL demo. Alright, and I'm just going to go ahead and move a previous file which I've already downloaded into that. So I'm going to slide that in. Alright, now what you want to do is go ahead and open up uh, your command prompt. So just go ahead and type in CMD. And you're going to want to make uh, the grasshopper folder from after you install open door logistics your directory for your command prompt so go ahead and go to windows program files scroll down to odl studio then grasshopper and then copy that and go over here and just type CD space and then paste. And as you can see, it'll make that your directory for the command prompt. Now, after you come here, go back to the page and then scroll down. And then this little Java command is what you want to copy until it says OSM equals because this is going to be our location for our own map. So go ahead and copy that and then paste it in here. And now you want to get the directory of wherever you save the map. So for us, it was in the C drive and under ODL demo. So let's go ahead and copy that, and then paste it right there, and then you also want to put the name of the .pfb file, and then let's go ahead and type that in, texas-latest.osm.pbf, and then just hit enter. And it'll create this texas-latest.osm-gh file in the same folder as your map file that you downloaded earlier. And uh, it'll take a while for it to finish up everything on the command prompt, but 
as long as it's doing something similar to what you're seeing right now, that means it's working. And uh, after it finishes doing all the commands, you can incorporate this map file into Open Road Logistics and it will also run. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this for now. So after the command prompt has finished running the JavaScript, um, let's go ahead and open up the Open Door Studio and go ahead and give it a test run to make sure everything works. So first you want to do is go and create a new file and create an empty data store. Now you want to create the script and go to vehicle routing. Change this to one and then hit OK. Now here's the settings for your script. Under vehicle routing, go to settings and then under distances, change it from great circle to road network and then go to its settings. Now here you want to upload that file that the JavaScript from the command prompt just made. So go ahead and go to Windows C, ODL demo, and then Texas dash latest OSM grasshopper. And go ahead and hit OK. OK. And you want to save this script. And then I like saving the same folder as the, uh, the map file, but you can go ahead and save this wherever you want, as long as it doesn't get deleted. Uh, Open Door Logistics should run fine. Let's go ahead and hit save. And then your script has popped up here. And close out. And if it doesn't pop up here, make sure your scripts directory is the same as the file that you have the script saved in. So if I change this, then it won't the script won't be there, it'll be gone. So make sure it's the same location as where you saved the script. Now, to give it a test run, let's go to tools, and then you want to create all input tables. And it's going to create the stop order, the stops, and the vehicle types. And obviously we don't have any data right now, so we can just click demo right here and it'll create the stops and vehicles for us. Go to OK. Now if we go to the stops, we'll see a list of all the stops and everything else is filled out. And then go to vehicle types, the same thing, a couple of vehicles, different departments, and you can change this to be whatever you like, um, allocate different vehicles for different departments, like they did here, department five has five vehicles, et cetera, et cetera. And let's just go ahead and run an optimizer and make sure it works. All right, seems to have finished. Let's go to view solution and then the view route on map. Okay, so as you can see here, it has completed all the stops, but it hasn't routed anything on this map because we don't have the map for this one set up for our optimization because this seems like it's somewhere off of Ireland. It's not really Texas. Uh, that's where the software was developed, so that's why it made those locations the random locations. But as you can see, it does work. Um, I'll show you something that I've been working on, so you know that it does optimize. So let's go and open up Texas, something I've been working on, and then we can just go ahead and hit optimize again. All right. View routes on map. And as you can see this time, since it is in Texas, go and show you Texas. It's in Texas. Um, it does map out every single route 
uh, for different vehicles and has a nice little legend. You can change the different stops if you wanted to, or you can uh, edit the routes. So suppose you had someone from the morning shift that was going to go to a different location, then you can just click here, drag and drop here, and it'll just shift that stop over. And it'll also change it on the map. And then once you've finished making all your changes, you can go down here to reports. It will generate a PDF file of every single route for every single vehicle. Um, it will also give you everything else in a more user-friendly fashion so anyone can understand what's going on in those different routes. So as you can see, it has the distances on here, which vehicle, the ID of the vehicle, how many stops are in that route. So another thing that you guys might find useful, um, instead of using the open door logistics to type in all the information that you need, is you could actually save this, all of this to an Excel sheet and work on it and then come back and open the Excel sheet through Open Door Logistics and it will open your data. So what you want to do is just open the stops or any one of these, go to File, Save As, and it will save as a spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and go to our save location, ODL demo, and then just title this demo. Save it. Okay. And, uh, Another thing that you're going to have to make sure you do is have the latitude and longitude of the addresses when you insert them into the Excel sheet. So here's the Excel sheet we just saved. Let's just say that we didn't have any of these latitudes or longitudes. What we can do is go ahead and copy all the addresses. Let's just do 20. Just copy 20 addresses. Just delete these. So we know that we have to get the latitude and longitude. We can just go to Google and go to this website called mapdevelopers.com. So mapdevelopers.com and then go to map tools. And then there's something called a batch geocode tool. So go ahead and go on that. And then here, paste all of your addresses. All right. And then go ahead and hit find address. So what this is going to do is search every single one of those addresses and then locate the latitude and longitude and have it set up in a way to where you can copy it all again. And then when you paste it in the Excel sheet, they'll all paste in individual columns, which works out perfectly for us because the addresses and latitude and longitudes are right by each other, just the way we need them here. So let's finish geocoding them. Let's go ahead and copy all of this again. Go to Excel. And then just paste. And the latitude and longitude are back. So that's how you can quickly add that latitude and longitude on here. And then also use Excel to edit any of your data more effectively than using open door logistics interface and i think that's all i have for you guys right now if you have any questions just let me know and i'll see if i can help you guys out you guys have a great day